y'all. It's Cassie Bollinger. Welcome to Work It Wednesday. It's the last Wednesday of the month, the end of the month coming up. We are finishing up November. Um, it is still time to go strong. Um, November is coming to an end, but that doesn't mean that your month is completely over. Um, in Texas, uh, Central Standard Time, our end of the month technically is at 2 a.m. So if you are still trying to fight and get to those last PRV items, make sure that you're messaging your customers, letting them know what's leaving. We have the Black Panther leaving. Um, we also have the November bundles are leaving. Um, the November uh, whip box is also leaving. And then we have so many things that are coming out for tomorrow um, that are releasing at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. So you need to realize that you don't have to do all the things. If you haven't promoted anything for Frozen or anything that's releasing tomorrow, it's okay. For me, I it's a juggling of when do I start get, taking pre-orders to when do I start letting customers know. Um, it is a struggle of, is it too early? Is, am I going to kill off my sales for this month? Or is it not early enough because now I don't have time to get those pre-orders and everything for my customers? Um, sending out the personal messages to your customers. So if you know that they are huge, huge Disney fans, especially if they have little girls and little princesses. Um, those are the ones that you want to reach out to tonight and just let them know, say, hey, Elsa is releasing and a buddy. And there's also a warmer that's Olaf. Um, they said that the Sven and the Olaf buddy clip is going to sell out super fast because they are super cheap. Um, they are discounted all the way down. Sven is $15 and Olaf is only $5, guys. So it's going to be hard for them to wake up in the morning after that 2 a.m. release and try to get them. Um, if you, now the other struggle is maybe you work a day job and you can't get up at 2 a.m. Um, that's the other part. There's a lot of people that don't promote these LTOs because we have a full stocked catalog. Our catalog never goes away until we switch over to the new catalog. Guys, you can run your complete business with never having a struggle, um, never trying to um, have to be on a release or be up in the middle of the night or get money from anybody else with anything through the catalog. So that's something to think about um, as we finish up November is that if you have not promoted any of the LTOs, guys, it is okay. If you've been struggling trying to promote every single thing that we've had released that has come and gone so fast, there's so many people that missed out on so many different things because it is first come, first serve. It is while supplies last. And you have to look at it as of this is an amazing company that we're selling out of products. That means we are so sought after that we are selling out of items. So when you change your mindset about what you're doing and how it, your, I guess, outcome is, you're going to learn that it is okay for small things to happen because it all depends about how you react. Because you all know that there's always that person. Like if you've ever worked retail, uh, any other customer service, there's always that one person that has that slight complaint. Um, I'm in a lot of the directors groups and some other groups that are Cincy related. And a lot of things that I see are things that are just, they're, they're every day. I'm okay with it because, I guess, hold on, because I'm okay with it and I don't fuss about it, my customers are okay with it. Um, when I see comments of people saying that I'm going to give up selling Cincy because no one wants to buy, no one wants to pay shipping. It's too expensive. Um, it doesn't work. I, you know, when they start seeing the downfalls of the products, their customers are going to start seeing that too because how you talk about our products and how you present them to your customers, um, to your friends, to your family is how people are going to respond. If you have a horrible outcome on something that you know that's coming up, it's dreading, it's never going to work, life sucks, life is horrible, then your customers are going to feed off of you. 
Um, a trick that I learned in customer service working in a call center a long, long time ago was when you talk to people, you need to smile. They may not see your face, but they can hear your voice. So there's a difference of saying, thank you for calling Cincy. This is Cassie. Other than thanks for calling Cincy. This is Cassie. It's a difference in your tone. It's a difference in your mannerisms. If you notice that whenever I said that and I was like this, I was up and I was ready. And then whenever I said it the second time, it's kind of like, oh. So when you are making posts, when you're sending messages to your customers, even if you think this is silly and even if you think it won't change, try hyping yourself up. Get me to hype you up before you send a message. Type that message out and be like, yes, oh, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. And then send out your message. Your response that you're going to get from your customers are going to be different than if you're like, hey, this is releasing. Want to buy? Want to help me out? I'm really close. Be like, oh my gosh. I have almost hit my goal. I'm so excited. I've, I'm getting so close, um, but I wanted to check to make sure if there's anything else you need this month. Um, I know that you had liked this warmer and you talked about trying to get it. Um, or I saw that you had commented on here that you wanted to place an order, but I missed you. And I would like to just check real quick. I know it's getting late. Um, but I want to send you a message. I just wanted to send you this message to make sure that you're taken care of. If they say no, it's too late, no, tomorrow, whatever. You've given that energy and you kind of like handed it to your customer and your customer is going to be like, I, and they're going to hand it back to you. It's going to kind of be this back and forth. There's going to be times that their um, mindset, their uh, issues are going to affect you and you'll get messages like, hey, I just wanted to say congratulations. I saw you got married. And then the first thing they say is like, yeah, he sucks. It was horrible. Everything at my wedding was horrible. It was, and they just like, everything is like Debbie Downer. Everything is just a negative part of, of what's going on. Then you're like, oh, I, I'm so sorry. You know, I, I, I wish your wedding had gotten better. I, you know, I was just wanting to check on an order, but now you're like in your head, you're just going, I don't even want to ask because she's going to like, they're going to be so angry or they're going to just be, um, they're Debbie Downer. I mean, they're, they're looking at everything that's negative and you'll feed off of that. Then you're going to be like, well, she didn't want to, she didn't want to order. Uh, they're not going to want to order. So I'm not going to send out those other messages, even though you know that they said that they want to get them. So I am totally off topic for tonight, um, but I wanted to kind of go over some of the things that you can work on um, with your customers. Um, the way that you text them, the way that you talk, if you are copy and pasting templates on sending out messages, if you're not getting a really good um, response from it, then you might want to think about what or how you're texting it to them. Um, what are you saying? Are you always sending them a message of just like, want to buy, want to buy, want to buy? You want to buy some Cincy? Do you want some Cincy? Do you want some Cincy? Then they're going to feel like all you are to them is just money backs. Like you're, you're just there, you know, it's like going to the bank. Hey, I just need, I just need money. I just need money. I don't care what's going on in your life. Just give me, give me your money. Let me order this stuff for you. Bye-bye. Um, building up the relationships with your customers is going to help on the nights like tonight, if you were only like $20 or $60 or $50 away, when you have built a relationship with your customer, sending them a text at 8.30 um, and just saying, hey, oh my gosh, my goals, I've set my goals for this month. I'm so close. Um, I wanted to check back with you. Um, I know that we talked about your daughter's practice the other day and and your your son's football games or you know, off-season football because football is um, – I don't know if high school football is still going on, but you know what I'm saying? Like if you already have a relationship with them, texting them and just being like, oh my gosh, I want to make sure that you didn't miss out. Like I'm putting in an order tonight. If uh, I have enough orders that I can get free shipping, if you like to come over and pick it up. So if your shipping is too expensive and you talk about shipping being too expensive, then guys, you shouldn't be putting in an order unless it's 350 or above. 
okay, $350 or above gets you free shipping. If that is their, if like that is one of your customers' downfalls, then say, you know what, I can try and put a bulk order in. Let's see, um, let's see what we can do. If they're not local to you and they're like, well, I'm not paying for shipping, I mean, that if they order anything online, they're paying for shipping. And the ones that say, well, I get free uh second day delivery with Amazon Prime. Guys, I pay for Amazon Prime yearly. Hello, it's not free. It's not free. We get it. We don't have an additional charge, but it's not free. I mean, they have to look at that as that they are paying a fee, a yearly fee, if they use it or not. So if you don't use that Amazon Prime and you're paying for that subscription, you have to look at it as of you're still paying for it. With our customers, we're only charging them when they order. Um, also, Cincy Club is cheaper shipping. It's only $8, a base pay of $8 every time they order. So if they're worried about the expense, then they might need to just think about ordering it through Cincy Club. It's $8. Um, it, it can ship to them once a month. They can change it anytime. You can cancel it and restart a new one. Um, I had a customer just the other day. She just wanted to get four bars, but it was only available in Cincy Club. So she activated Cincy Club. She paid for it. She processed it after it shipped. And we have tracking numbers. She canceled her Cincy Club account. It was the only way. And I wasn't like my Cincy Club's already ran this month. So she wouldn't get it until next month. But it's right there at that cutoff of when my subscription runs. So that means she may not have gotten it in time for Christmas. So that was her choice was either Cincy Club or Cincy Club. I mean, that's just what it was. And if she didn't want to keep it, that's up to her. But at least that sale was taken care of. Showing our products and giving them the different options that are available helps your business. Because even tonight, I sent out a message because one of the girls had wanted the spin and I was letting them know that because I hadn't received her money yet. It was like, hey, the spin is coming out at 2 a.m. I'm going to be up for the order. I already have one that I'm placing. If you want, I can add yours to mine. I said, but I'm only going to ship everything to my house. After it gets here, we can either meet up or I can ship it to you. It's up to you, but I am not going to be able to split up the orders for one spin on one and then try to get everything else in the other. Um, only because that did not help me for this last release because I had nine different orders and I only ended up getting two of them in because everything sold out so fast and I was having technical difficulties. So basically when we get down to the end of the month, um, I mean, people are going to know when you're only messaging them at the end of every single month uh, on the last day of the month, um, you're only doing that then when you're reaching out they're going to start to think again that you're only messaging them for orders. And if your customer service is good, they're not going to care, but you have to make sure that you are thanking these people. Um, I mean, I've had the big fiasco going on with the, um, all my happy mail. I sent out all the inspirations. I worked so hard. We got labels printed. We got every brick fully melted. We had felt everything, put them in the mail and they all came back. Almost every single one came back. And when I went to the post office, they said that they had x-rayed it and that it, because it wasn't paper, they were charging it as a parcel. So I now have to revamp what I'm doing for my Happy Mail because I want to thank my customers and I want to reach out to them and sending them the Happy Mail or sending them um, stuff that they could smell um, and getting that fragrance underneath their nose. I'm now at it like, it's not that I'm at standstill. Like I'm not stopping just because someone is telling me that I can't ship something. I'm not stopping because they're raising the price. What I'm doing is I'm re-evaluating. I'm doing a pivot and figuring what is the best way for me to get stuff out to my customers. If it means that I'm taking every single piece of paper that I own and I'm spraying it with something and letting it dry so that every time that they open my happy mail, then that's what they get. I mean, I already spray my um, little sh shredded paper I mean, I can do that too. There were some people that were using their postcards and then rubbing wax on the edge of it. So that way it was actually on the paper kind of absorbing in and it's rubbed on the side. So you're really not using that much wax. That's another way. So when you're coming up against obstacles, you need to look at what other things can we see? It's like coming to a dead end road, but you didn't see that there's a path over here because you didn't look. So 
end of the month, it's it's going great. Everybody, we've had we have mm, blah, blah blah blah. This is what happens. Um, at the this end of the month, we've had a lot of more people that have gotten active. We've had people that have been coming out of the woodworks that are getting active and going above. Like we have quite a few people that are over five hundred that haven't been over five hundred in a while. So this month is going great for a lot of people. They were also pushing themselves to get that higher PRV. This was like everybody's last chance to order before Christmas and the cutoff. Now, our cutoff is the 15th of December. I personally am telling everybody the 10th. And the reason why is because if it's coming to me, that means I'll receive it before Christmas, but that means I still got to get to them. So it'll be, if you're wanting to do local pickup, then the order needs to be placed by the 10th. If you want it to ship directly to you, you'll have to pay the shipping and it will, the latest you can order is the 15th. I'm setting that up as an expectation. And now we never know what's going to happen because we don't personally deliver everything. It does go through FedEx, UPS, and there's a couple of other smaller ones in different areas. So those things will affect if there's a storm or if there's weather that comes in before the 15th or before Christmas that delays anything. But that's why I tell you to shop early, have your customers shop early. What we end up tonight is going to be your paycheck that's coming out on the 10th, 9th, 10th. So remember, as you, as we finish up November and we're starting in December, um, just because the cutoff's on the 15th doesn't mean that you stop your business. Next month is a great month to start implementing any kind of system that you've watched that maybe you wanted to learn, but you haven't had time to do, it's going to be time to focus on how you want next year to be. In the month of December, I'll come up with my word of the month or for the word of the year. This year has been grace. And guys, it has fit perfectly in my life because giving myself grace has been the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. It is so hard whenever I feel like everything is weighing on my shoulders. And I had to remind myself to give myself grace. In the pandemic with, um, with me starting in May and everybody was ordering online, guys, I hit director in four months. It was so fast. The team grew and grew and grew and it got faster and faster. And it was all this stuff coming at me all at once, but I didn't have to go through all the steps. Basically, I got a power jump ahead of everybody else because of what was going on in the world. Since everything is slowly starting to move back to, I guess, a normal or maybe a flat line. I mean, we have some up days and some down days. I've learned to level off my sales. I've learned to um, where my median is at, where it's not the highest, it's not the lowest. Um, and my goal is always at least 2,000 minimum of 2000 is actually at 2500 and I'm going to keep that 2500 PRV goal every single month because there was months that I was only getting 800. There was months that it was fought, like a tooth and nail fight to get to a thousand. But if I kept lowering down my PRV, I wouldn't be getting those 2000 now because I fought for that. Okay. So whatever I did this month, I only got the 600 and what would I need to change to get more? Because those customers that bought this month may not be buying for next month. So I need to find more customers. That's where my parties and my shopping links and my rewards link, um, the reason why I give them out, because it expands my customer base. It allows me to reach more people that I wouldn't normally reach. Now, you're going to have different hostesses that um, they're going to get their link and nothing's going to happen. but that's not your fault. Any one of my hostesses that are like they're posting it online and they're sending them out to their customers and they're talking to them, they hit that 200 PRV really fast. And now that the customers are in the system, I can reach out to them and tell them, thank you. I send them happy mail, which now will be a little bit different, but there's a way for me to expand my business. And so when I started pushing for those shopping links, the rewards link, the sin occasion links, I've named a, a couple of different things because it's kind of a different reason why I'm putting them in the system. 
It wasn't, you know, the rewards link was for someone who was going to be ordering off of them for themselves. That way, when I look at it, I know this is for them. It's going to go for three months. That's a rewards link. So then it's the um, shopping link is for most time. It's like, it's kind of the same thing, but also could relate to their friends too, like friends and family. And then the sent occasion was for them to send it out to anybody. Like it wasn't necessarily them ordering. It was going to be them sending it out to a group. But I push for that. And so my PRV has gotten higher because I started stepping out of my own way. I don't get joy from Facebook parties. Um, for me, they are not fun because I was spending so much time doing my VIP group. There is no way I had the energy to be back and to do a secondary group. It was just for me, it was too hard. It was not bringing me joy. So it felt like a chore, like a have to, like a job. And since for me, it's not a job. It's my happy place. It's my, it's my safe space. It's my creative, like Canva is my creative outlet. I can make thumbnails for YouTube. Um, I did a video. I posted a picture of my bows that I have going on different gifts. And someone was like, will you make an interest, like uh, a video of how you did that? And I'm like, uh, sure. And I did because I do videos for training, but normally it's at my face or it's something different, but this was something I wasn't used to, but see, that brings me joy too. I really like to do crafts. I just haven't had time to do it. And of course, Christmas time is here. And so for me, it's like, this is the best time of year. I love Christmas. I love Christmas music. I love Christmas movies. Um, I love Christmas candy and Christmas food and Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Like I love it all. I do. I love it all. And I know that this next month is going to feel really slow for some of y'all. But it's as slow as you want it to be. Try something new for the month of December. Try something outside of your normal lane. Guys, we've got to either accelerate. We've got to change lanes. We've got to figure out what you want and try to do it Either we need to learn something more or learn how to do it better. So re repetition. Guys, you know, practice makes improvements. It's not perfection. It's always improvements. I should never have said perfection. It's always about improvements. So you want to better yourself. You want to better your skills. You either learn something and figure out how to do the best you can and, and learn all the little tips and tricks. Um, find a niche that you want. Like maybe mystery bags aren't working for you. But I did the Jeopardy board. It didn't really work. So there's different things that I want to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying anything I can because I want to make sure that I'm getting, like giving my customers the best experience they can have. I'm also wanting to make sure that they are getting the products that they need. And I'm also trying to make sure that I help them with what, why do they need the Sensi? I mean, is something in their house stinky? Is there, they have kids, they have pets, they have um, significant others. They have, um, maybe they go out, they're hunting all the time. Guys, all the guys that are hunters and stuff, those, the women that are staying at home, you know, if they're doing, uh, you can't do the laundry because, you know, it's supposed to be a non-fragrance scent, but when they're done and they're cleaning up their trucks or, the, you know, there are so many different products that we have that will help for that. So try to think outside the box, try to just shake it up. Like what is the crazy, I, the craziest idea that you ever wanted to do with Cincy? Like if anything you put your mind to just worked perfectly and what in a perfect world, what would it be? Are you that person that really wants to do events because you enjoy being out there and you get to see all the different items are there. You get to meet people face to face. Um, maybe you want to um, learn how to do videos better or you want to start doing trainings or maybe like, what is the craziest thing? Like that needs to be what we start working on in December. Like what's the craziest idea? Like I would love to create a Facebook party page or something and not just invite people in and invite people out or whatever. I don't know. Like start thinking about if you had the ideal. So money wasn't an object. Um, knowledge wasn't an object. Like it didn't matter how to do it. I mean, we just need to know what we're wanting to do. And then we can go from there. Like we can come up with the craziest idea ever and we can work on it and tweak it to see how that works. That is being a business owner. 
that is that mindset that you want to have. You want to figure out, okay, this has been working. This has been working. This has been working. Wait, it went, well, no, it wasn't really working that well last month. And then you go through another and you're like, it's still not working very well. So it's not scrapping it. It's just kind of like tweaking it, trying to figure out a different perspective. Sometimes that's just all we need is we just need a perspective and you just need to look and see what do you want your business to do by the end of this year? What do you want your business to look like next year? What do you want it to look like in six months? Guys, anything that you start needs to be done for at least six months minimum to get the full effect of if it's good or bad. And it's hard. You're going to tweak it a little bit as you go along because you in your head, you're going to get in your way. Guys, just know you're going to get in your way and you're going to say it's not working. It's not working. Well, give it a chance to work. Give it a chance to mature. Give it a chance for you to look at all the sides of it. Sometimes you can even ask your customers, what would you like to see more of? What would you like? Like, what would entice you? I mean, you can ask some of your best friends, what would make you want to buy? Like, with, is it more games? Is it more reels? Is it more funnies? Um, you know, if you love TikTok, maybe it's getting your name out there. Maybe it's kind of showing your personal side of either you're really funny or maybe you sing or, um, you know, I, I kind of do a little bit of all that but I don't really show it to a lot of people. And that's something that I'm working on for me. I'm working on my YouTube. Like that was like a very large focus in the last couple of months is YouTube and my subscriptions have risen. Um, I'm getting better at uploading them, getting my thumbnails done really quick, which is the vid the picture. And like, I guess like the beginning picture before your video start. Descriptions, hashtags, there's all these things that I'm working on to improve because I want to reach more people. And I know because I don't normally leave the house to go many places that I'm not getting that reach like I did when I was working up at the bar or back when I was, when, you know, we were starting to be out and about. And then I, there was nights I was going out. Um, then there was nights I was working, you know, that kind of thing. So I don't see physically face to face a lot of people. And so another thing I'm going to be working on is like, what can I do for more people locally to know that I sell Cincy? Um, I've been posting more in some of my local groups, um, but I need to really step up my game because I am lacking in that department. So these are kind of the things that I've been working on. These are the things that maybe you need to think about. If you want to do a brainstorming night, we can do that. We can get everybody on here. If it's one of those things that you want to do one-on-one, -on -one, because we all have that thought in our head, like everybody's going to think I'm stupid or, oh my God, that's a horrible idea. I, why am I even thinking that? Much less say it out loud. Sometimes guys, you just need to say it out loud. Say it out loud to your significant other, to your kids. Ask them what they think. Now, if your kids are one of those that everything sucks, don't tell, don't ask your kids or if your significant other or your parents or whoever always like, it doesn't matter what you say, like, oh my God, the sky is a perfect purple. They're like, no, it's not purple. It's violet. Oh my God. That's so stupid. Those are not the people you need to talk to. You can talk to me. You can talk to your best friend. Um, Try to figure out how you can shake up your business. Maybe you do something wild and crazy. Like you get on there and you just do a quick video and it's all fun and games, or you have the kids do something. There is ways to step out of your comfort zone without having a plan. Sometimes you just have to do and then figure it out. Like just do it, figure it out, the, all the details later, you know, throw it out there to your people. It's just, like I said, tonight was just, I was going to talk about end of the month, but to me, the end of the month was not as beneficial to me for training because it was very simple tonight. Um, the information is there. It will be uploaded onto the workstation. Um, so if you want any more details of all the end of the month, please make sure you're checking out the news tab of the workstation. Um, it will have all the details there. Um, if you have any questions, make sure that you are commenting in the group, um, the team chat, um, or you can even do it on this uh, YouTube video. So that's what I have for you guys tonight. I love you all. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share uh, this channel with your friends, uh, with your teenies, um, or with your family, anybody. So I'll talk to you guys later. Good night, guys.